Project Adventure is a dream. <laughs> um, it's getting the kids to work together, to think using critical thinking skills, getting them to communicate, getting the kids to experience and learn through that experience and it also connects them right with their social emotional because sometimes what they do scares them. Sometimes what they do excites them, so they have to learn to work through all of those different emotions too. We give them, they're called initiatives, and uh, we give them a problem to solve. We explain resources to them, and then it's up to them to try to solve that problem using the resources they have available. One of the resources they often forget is themselves. <laughs> so it's kind of fun to try to teach them, uh, you're a resource too. And uh, you were asking about one of the ones we did, one of the biggest favorites is poisonous peanut butter sounds a little bit more crazy than it is, but it's just building bridges to get across some poisonous peanut butter. When they start thinking about resources and they start thinking about each other as resources, then that gives them back in the classroom a way to connect and use each other. They also learn that uh, the problems that they have to think uh, or solve it takes a lot of thinking, so they have to put thought process into it. And by experiencing it, they're less likely to not want to try something new. And that's one of the things we always promote at Devonshire is personal best. So it might not be someone else's personal best, but you're giving your personal best to the activity. Each classroom teacher goes through Project Adventure also, and there is a classroom format to this that was developed by the Project Adventure in Boston, Massachusetts. And we have a lot of new teachers this year, which is unusual for Devonshire. So we've actually peer buddied them with Project Adventure specialists in the classroom so that they can learn and use the process in the classroom also.